As animal habitats continue to shrink, people and wildlife will find more challenging moments to coexist. Black bear experts, for example, worry and warn about encounters with people. Tonight, our Tar Heel traveler meets a homeowner with a different perspective, one that was actually part of a National Geographic story. We find Scott Mason in Buncombe County, where bears routinely roam a woman's porch. That's a good girl. Come on. Come on. But that's a bear. And that's a bear. And they're wild bears. What are you doing? And they're on Janice's porch. Yep, they just come on up. They're <laughs> Black bears. So we've had eight to ten bears at one time. They come close. At least with this chain link, I can get closer to them. She likes being close to them. You know, you just wish you could hug them, but... I know I can't, but look how big those paws are. Good, she has the chain link. Had some dog bowls, those metal dog bowls, and Janny, my husband, uh, put holes in them so they would drain, so we've got them screwed to the deck railing. She's talking about metal bowl bird feeders, but it's usually the bears and not the birds that feed and walk the rail. It's just amazing. Like a balance beam. Yes, yes, yes. They will climb a tree. See him up there? What you doing? Huh? You okay? Well, I've got friends calling me the bear whisper. Are you ever scared? No. So many people have a misconception about, about the black bears. They don't want to attack anybody. They're just, usually they'll run from you. No, I'm not afraid of them at all. Janice lives in Swannanoa on a mountaintop. Always loved animals all my life. Here's a few pictures of our bears. She's taken thousands of pictures. Little cub, they love laying on the deck railing like this, and lots of times they'll just go to sleep. Those two look like they're dancing. And Papa Bear. On a hot day, cooling off. Mama Bear. Taking a nap. A family photo. Oh, this one. <laughs> but they're so much fun to watch. I wonder what the bears are thinking. That would be great to know. I don't know. Hopefully they know I love them. She's loved them for more than 20 years. It's okay, girl. That's how long bears have been visiting Janice's porch. Actually sharing their home, because we're where they live. It's okay. It's all right. We're just fortunate to be in a good place where they feel safe. It's so pretty, girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> Now, recognizing that bear experts will be alarmed by what's happening on that porch, we showed our story to a biologist based in Asheville. Ashley Hobbs is with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. She's not the only one by any stretch of the imagination, but she is kind of the classic example of how this can go wrong and how bad this can get. It's dangerous, again, for bears, people, pets. Nobody's winning in this situation. So it's really important to kind of change our mindset. We're not attracting bears. We're not approaching bears. We're certainly not touching bears because it keeps the bears safe and it keeps us safe as well. Now, both the city of Asheville and Buncombe County recently passed ordinances that prohibit people from intentionally attracting black bears with food. For example, more than a third of reported bear encounters in North Carolina happen in Buncombe County.